different times of reaction torque, just like load cells. Why do you have so many different sizes and shapes? Well, just because, you know, some of them are custom that end up getting in the catalog, some of them for specific purposes. Some of them have metric threads, some of them US threads, some of them have through holes, some of them have threaded holes, have shafts, sometimes the shafts have keys. You might have square drive, you know, you can imagine any of them could work in most applications if you had the right adapters and fixturing, but some of them will work better than others. Some of them are shorter. Some of them are uh, more weather resistant. Um, some of them are designed for a specific purpose. Um, if you look at this picture here um, on this uh, bottom one here, this is relatively short for the capacity. So these ones are good and they have a through hole through them. So if somebody wants to say a short installation that might work well. Um, this is a bigger through hole, but it's also typically uh, taller or longer, so it wouldn't necessarily fit as well as this one, but it's got a bigger hole. Um, this one has a giant hole through it, and it's designed specifically to mount to a certain type of motor called a C-face motor. So imagine if you have a motor, say, mounted to a plate, and the shaft of the motor goes through a hole in the plate, and it's spinning something on the other side of the plate. You could take that motor, and you could unmount it from the plate, and you could bolt it to this torque sensor, and then you could bolt this torque sensor to the plate, and now your motor shaft could spin through the plate. Um, of course, your motor shaft wouldn't be long enough anymore, so you'd have to put some kind of a coupling or a, a shaft extension on it or something. But uh, we don't sell a ton of these C-face torque sensors, but keep in mind they do mount nicely to C-face motors. And if you don't know what a C-face motor is, that's okay. Um, if your customer doesn't either, then you probably won't be talking about these. But if somebody's going to buy a motor, they do have C-face motors available. Um, if you imagine a tank and you have a lid on the tank and you want to stir, say, a liquid inside the tank, and this could be a fermenter or any kind of a vessel, um, you might want to measure the torque as you stir. Um, sometimes people will mount, say, a reaction torque sensor on the lid with a hole through the lid and then a motor on top. A lot of times those vessels already exist, and so the customer may want to add a torque sensor. Typically, it's not a C-face motor in my experience. It's just some motor, and it doesn't mount to the torque sensor very well, nor does the torque sensor mount to the hole in the tank or to the top of the tank because the tank wasn't designed for that. So what they end up doing is um, creating spacer plates and things. You can imagine that's actually not too challenging, but usually we leave that up to the customer, obviously. But imagine just making some spacer plates and things to allow you to bolt, um, say, to the top of the tank and then a motor to the top of the torque sensor. Um, they also range from very tiny capacities up to quite large 